this video I will be preparing potassium ferrioxalate or potassium trioxalatoferrate 3 trihydrate complex. To start things off, we need 3.2 gram of anhydrous ferric chloride and 12.8 gram of anhydrous potassium oxalate. 15 ml of distilled water was added to potassium oxalate. Then the ferric chloride was added to a beaker and it was dissolved in minimum amount of distilled water. You can already see that the ferric chloride has started to absorb moisture from the air and started turning into a liquid because ferric chloride is very deliquescent in nature. The reaction of ferric chloride with water is exothermic and the solution warmed up when I added water. I could feel the heat from the outside of the beaker. While dissolution of potassium oxalate in water was endothermic and the solution cooled down. So to dissolve the potassium oxalate the solution has to be warmed. So I took the beaker and heated in a water bath and stirred it with, the, with a glass rod until all the solid dissolved. When all the solid dissolved, I took the potassium oxalate solution and poured it into the ferric chloride solution. You can see that the color of the solution turned from reddish brown to green. This is due to the formation of potassium trioxalatoferrate complex. On cooling, green crystals of potassium trioxalatoferrate 3 trihydrate separate out. The mother liquor was decanted off in a, another beaker and then these crystals were washed with some amount of distilled water. And then these crystals were taken out on a filter paper which was placed on a porous plate to absorb the excess water and then these crystals were dried in a desiccator. The mother liquor was evaporated to half of its volume and then again cooled to get the second crop of crystals. So in the first crop we got 7.0 grams of crystals and in the second crop we got 1.7 gram of crystals. So the total yield comes to be 8.7 gram which corresponds to a percentage yield of 89.8%. Thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions please write down in the comment section and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. If you like my work you can support me financially through Patreon and PayPal. Links are given in description.